Hey guys, hi everybody, happy Wednesday. There's so many things I can say about Wednesday. Working Women Wednesday, uh, wisdom, wisdom Wednesday or Wednesday Wisdom. There's all kinds of things I can say about Wednesday. But whatever it is, happy Wednesday for you guys. Happy Hump Day. Um, it is the day of the week that we know um, it's our hump that we slide down into the weekend. But uh, with it being week six of, of our quarantine time, stay at home time. Um, Wednesday really isn't hump day anymore because we're home all the time and we're trying to figure out what's best. So a lot of folks are still working on the weekends because you're not getting a lot of work done during the week and vice versa. And so I think all of our days are running together. But one thing we do know, it is Wednesday and it is a beautiful Wednesday. And uh, thank you for joining me. Um, Welcome, 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 and make sure that you uh, say hello so I know who it is. I'm using uh, this uh, new software again, a StreamYard, and I love it, um, which reminds me here, I said I was going to um, bear with me and make sure I turn my phone off, um, <clears throat> but I wanted to make sure that I share this um, and invite some folks to, sh to join us uh, because I wanted to share with you guys a couple tips if you have not uh, read my latest blog that posted um, hey, yesterday. There's so many things. There it goes. If, if you haven't gonna, hey, hey, Terrell, how are you? <clears throat> okay, so I am sharing right now. So it is there, and I shared my post. So anyway, if you're on and I don't don't say hello, please charge it to me not being able to read and <laughs> not that I am not excited that you're here. So anyway, but happy Wednesday, guys. It's great to, to be here. Um, I wanted to jump on a little bit earlier than I did last Wednesday because my mom, although she did watch, she chastised me because she said I was interrupting Bible study and it didn't occur to me. It was Wednesday Bible study. Oh my gosh, I should not have gone live into after six o'clock. But so I wanted to make sure I jumped on, but I was watching the governor's press conference too. So of course, you know, I had to listen to that. Um, but anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's live stream. Um, we're all home. I think y'all, if you look at your feed, you know, a lot more people are going live and doing a lot of stuff. Um, and so, you know, I, I used to do a whole lot of live. My schedule got really busy, so I stopped doing as much live. And uh, a very good friend, Rashonda, the Rosho Pratt, that most of you guys know, encourages me all the time to continue to go live because people want to hear what I have to say. And so I decided I need to do, do better, do better and go live. And so I've been going live a lot more during our quarantine time. I've been going live with city events and sharing with you uh, stuff that I feel like you need to know for the city. I've also been trying to share with you tips that we need to have as uh, folks dealing with quarantine, um, bringing you interviews. I've started a series called Conversa Community Conversations with Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine, and I've got some really great guests lined up. I'll be live Friday at two, and we're going to be talking about health disparities. And then next week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and all those school is over. Um, I think we all know <laughs> that school since school's been out, we've got a lot more appreciation for teachers. Um, if we did, I know we all had a lot of appreciation for teachers, but I think we have even more appreciation now that we've been challenged with teaching um, our kids while we're during this quarantine. So next week, all next week, Teacher Appreciation Week, I'm going to bring you some lives to celebrate our teachers, share with you some information all, um, from teachers, about teachers. So hopefully that's good. Um, Anyway, my mom said, you done good. Raise an awesome human being. <laughs> anyway, so going, I don't want to stay on long because I don't want to interrupt people's Bible study time. But if you do uh, feel like you want to share this, please share this broadcast out so that folks can get these tips. Um, I did write a blog about this. And so if you've not read my whole blog, and there'll be more details in my blog, if you've not read my whole blog, please go to my website, which is www.adivinelife.com. I've been blogging more since we've been on quarantine as well. So um, I finally posted my blog about my home office. I'm really excited about it. Um, but I want to just share some tips because today is exactly one week since we found out 
from our governor and our superintendent of education that school will not return this school year. And so uh, all, most of us are on five weeks of schooling from home. Now we've got at least another four, um, depending on, I guess, when the school year will end. I guess it'll end regular time, which was scheduled to be the last week of, of May. Um, and so <clears throat> I know it's been difficult for a lot of folks to work from home while your kids are home. Um, not everybody has the luxury to, to work from home. And so we need to remember those essential workers and everyone who cannot work from home. But those of us who have some kind of ability to work from home, I think it's important that we have a space, a dedicated space uh, to work from home. So people kept asking kind of, you know, what what do you do? What are you doing to be more productive since you're at home? And you know, I've shared some of those tips before, but it really got me thinking about the space that I work in. And even me, who someone who works from home fairly regularly, um, considering I've got small kids, sometimes, you know, kids might be sick or, you know, school's out or different things. And so I have to work from home. Um, I never, I always had in my mind what I wanted for my office space, um, but I had not finished my office space. And so during this stay at home quarantine time, I finally finished my office space. And I have to say, since I finished it about a week and a half, almost two weeks ago, it has been, I, this has been my go-to very productive space. I've, I've jumped back into being very productive, getting things done. Like I said, I'm writing more. Um, I'm meeting with clients more. I'm just doing a whole lot of things. I'm, I'm, I'm being able to shift from my councilwoman duties to my lawyer duties to my coach and consultant duties very seamlessly because even though all of that is in the space, I just feel like this is an office. I feel like when I'm here, I'm working. And so I decided to share in my blog and through this video, some tips for you on creating a perfect home office space. I know not everybody has like a lot of space in their, um, their house and you don't have to have a ton of space in your house. You just have to have a space that you can dedicate for you that you know, when I go into this space, I'm Tamika and it's time for me to get to work. And so I wanted to share with you some tips here. So with that said, let me get into my tips for you. So <clears throat> tip number one, <clears throat> make sure that you choose a good location. So like I mentioned, we don't have a, a very large house. We don't have a guest bedroom that could be turned into an office. I don't have like an extra room. I think most of us don't have an extra room that we could turn into a home office. Some of you do have home office spaces, like you actually have a bedroom that you don't use that you turn into a home office. And that's wonderful if you have it. So if you can make that it, but not all of us have that. And so how do you find a space? The kitchen table ain't going to cut it because you may go back and find some paperwork and has some gel, peanut butter and jelly on it or um, some flour or something else. And so you want to make sure that you have a good location. The location I have uh, selected for our home office is a loft space. So it's not a huge space. It's a loft space. I'm not good at sizes, so I can't tell you how big it is. But basically, you're seeing it. I have a wall over here. Um, but basically, you're seeing the space. It's not a large space. It doesn't have to be. It fits my desk. It fits my chair. It has my calendar. Um, it has my um, ring light. So when I do lives and things, um, I get things done. So make sure that you choose a good location um, that is large enough to get what you need done. But it doesn't have to be overly big. But it has to be a good location where it's going to be quiet. Um, mine isn't always as quiet as I want because, like I said, it's a loft. So I can hear downstairs if they don't close the door. Um, and so I have to say, hey, close the door. Mommy's working. You know, but um, when I do a lot of work early in the mornings, late in the evenings, they're asleep. So it's it's quiet. So it's a, it's a perfect location for me. So make sure that you're choosing a good location. Um, secondly, make sure that you invest in a good chair. Now, I have a great comfy chair that if I'm on a Zoom or a live, I can I can lay back and it's so comfortable. I can swish around. This is a good chair. But the most important part is an er ergonomically correct chair. So it keeps my spine, it, it has the structure to keep me strong in my spine and it just helps. So make sure that you have a great um, chair, um, one that you can lift up or go down so that you are, your feet are going to be on the floor that you can keep your good posture. So perfect um, for that. <clears throat> My tip number three is make sure you invest in the right technology. So uh, true story here. So working from home, 
I pretty much have a desktop that's probably about five, six years old. <laughs> Doesn't have a webcam or anything on it, but it was, you know, it got the work done of what I needed to do at home when I was home. It has Word on it. It, um, it has PowerPoint. It allowed me to go and type. It has inter access to the internet. So it gave me what I needed uh, for what I thought I needed. Um, and so um, anyway, look, mama says, looks like I've gone offline. Oh, are y'all seeing me? Okay, hopefully this will hopefully this will go back. I, I'm sorry if I'm offline. Hopefully it's taping and you guys will see. But um, but anyway, so make sure you're investing in the right technology. So I had that I, that wasn't good enough for what I needed done. And so what I had to make sure I was doing is I had to make sure I had a laptop. So I have a laptop with a webcam, um, which is perfect for me. And then um, I, so in addition to my laptop with my webcam, I have, and I know you're gonna hear Jameson in a little bit. <laughs> I have my laptop with my webcam. Like I mentioned, I have my ring light that keeps um, my lighting good in here. I have a stand for my phone. So my phone can be very close and when I need to be here. Um, I, have, um, I have another small little ring light that goes with my phone. Um, I do a lot of podcast interviews nowadays. So I have um, my mic. Um, that's technology that I need. Um, but most importantly, and that's why when my mom said I was off, it must be her technology, not y'all's, because y'all are saying you can see me. But one of the things that um, we had a modem and a router that was old. And so I had to update my modem and my router because I download a whole lot of legal documents. So I needed to make sure that I had the right amount of speed so I could download it and upload documents that I needed. Um, and so that was real important for me. So make sure you're investing in the right technology. Whatever you need technology-wise to be able to work from home, I had to get, make sure I just had a printer, didn't have a scanner, didn't have a fax. So I had to upgrade and make sure now I have a scanner and a fax. After I got the scanner of facts, lo and behold, I realized that most of us have a scanner on our phone. Who knew? <laughs> you probably do, but I didn't. So anyway, so now I can use my scanner on my phone as well as the scanner on my facts. But anyway, I have a printer, scanner, fax, and copier all in one, very remote that can sit here. So make sure you have the right kind of technology so that you can work from home. I would do work at home and then I would like email myself so that I could go to my office and print it out, or email it, or do some other things. And then realize when we were under a stay-at-home order, even though I don't, my office isn't very far from the house, I couldn't do that. And I'm like, okay, what can I do to make sure I'm accomplishing what I could at the office here? And so again, perfect. So make sure you have the right technology that you can do what you need to do. My fourth tip is design a space that inspires you. This is my favorite tip. Y'all know me. I love to be inspired. I've got to, if I'm going to be productive, I got to have a space that, that inspires me to be productive. And so, you know, Miss Work-Life Integration here, I'm all about understanding your why and making sure your why is, you're reminded of your why when you're working hard. So when I'm up early working, up late working, I'm pushing through, like this weekend I did, I, had, I was on a retreat, a virtual retreat. So although I was in this space, I wasn't spending family time with my kids. But I understood my family is always my why. So again, if y'all look like, if you can see a little bit of my office, I've got my picture of my family right here in my heart there in my why. Um, I also have, in addition to that, I have uh, affirmations and sayings all around me. So on this side of the wall, I have something that says, set goals, push yourself, move. So whenever I'm working, I can look at that. I'm setting goals, I'm pushing myself, and I'm just moving. It inspires me. I've got another one that says, don't quit, no excuses, be awesome, you got this. I love those kind of sayings. So those are the things that inspire me. Um, of course, having uh, my backdrop here with my name, my logo, Tamika Isaac Divine. Tamika is the brand. Tamika is the brand. So that reminds me of that. On my calendar, I make sure that I put stuff on here. In addition to the stuff that's important, I have the um the business stuff i have other things so i have like family night on here but the, the april 10th when we watch the trolls is on my calendar because that's important to me so i make sure this space desire inspires me if you have a space that inspires you then it's a space that will make you happy to be in you won't be like oh gosh i'm in the office again this is a this is my happy place and like i told y'all since i've had this design for the last two weeks I've gotten so much done because it, it inspires me. It has a lot of great things for it. 
And then my last tip for you today will be about making sure you add a comfy space. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be too big of a space, but make sure it's a space that works for you. But you also want a space that maybe sometimes you might want to get out the chair. You don't feel like being in your computer at your computer in your chair all the time. So over here in the corner, I have I have some blankets. I have some big uh, plush pillows. And if I want to read a book, or I want to brainstorm or if I'm getting on a strategy session with a client and we're not doing the Zoom and I can just sit down and Indian style and relax, this is the space I go to. That's the space that's the comfy space that also helps me get my inspiration. And so having a space, uh, whether it's a space that you can take a nap, I mean, it could be as elaborate as having, you know, an ottoman or it could be just like I have some, you know, blankets and pillows, whatever it is, have a nice comfy space for you. And, um, and that's it. So those are kind of some of my tips. But like I said, what I did for you is make sure that you can, um, make sure that you can um, go to my website, which is down here, um, is www.adivinelife.com. And if you go there, then you can read the entire blog. I love for you to make some comments and say, hey, Tamika, um, you know, I love what your idea is. This is another tip. Share with me your other tips. And even here in, um, in the comments, share with me some other tips that you may have about creating an office space. Um, also, um, just to know that, you know, we don't know how long this is going to last um, based on what the governor here in South Carolina. I know I've got people who watch me that are in other states. Um, some states are opening up, like my friends there in Georgia have already opened up. I have other friends um, in California and New York who probably will not be opening up uh, too soon. It'll be at least another few weeks. But no matter how long we're going to be in this stay at home, work from home type in, um, a posture, you always need a really good home office space because you never know. There could be a weather event that happens. It could be, again, a sick kid. Um, it could be just that, you know, you don't feel like going in the office and you feel like you'd be more productive if you stay home. So it's always good to have a really good space at home that you can have as an office space. And so hopefully these tips are really good tips for you to um Think about what you can incorporate in your home office to make it that perfect place just for you. It needs to reflect your personality. When you come in this space, you know it. It says Tamika all over the place. Um, but make sure you have a space that reflects your personality, but also that inspires you and causes you to be productive. So with that said, if you've got any other comments, please share those with me. But I also wanted to make sure that you guys know. So the other thing that I've had a lot during this quarantine time is I've had some strategy sessions with people. I've got some current clients. Um, I've got some previous clients who were like, you know, oh, I'm just scared. I don't know what's going to happen, you know, and I know that a lot of folks are fearful and I'll, I'll probably do a, a live stream about that soon too. But I know there are a lot of people who are like really kind of fearful right now and doesn't know what's going to happen. You know, the best thing about uh, being in a time where, you know, I say God slows us down and makes us stop and reflect. It's that reflection time. And we have to figure out, is this a time of pivot? Is this a time of strategy? Uh, is this a time for movement? And 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 you've got to figure out what that means for you. Um, and so um, I've told you guys before, I have, you know, I have my power circle, which is my online mentoring and accountability group. Um, I know in the past folks have felt like, oh, Tamika, I want to work with you, but I really can't afford that right this second, or I'm not really sure about that. Everybody is dealing with financial uncertainties right now, and everybody's dealing with not knowing what's next, or you know, how do I build that other stream of income because I'm really not sure what what I should be doing right this second. Uh, when everybody's talking about being still, um, and so um, I wanted to, you know, I just really kind of prayed on it, and I figured, you know, I I really wanted to. Um, use the power circle as the vehicle that can really help more women. And so um, I am um, opening enrollment at the power circle uh, at a severely reduced price that I normally do. Um, and so the investment to join me in power circle um, is, um, is discounted um, through the summer so that uh, during this time and this season of reevaluating, pivoting, uh, moving, strategizing, whatever it is, whatever it means for you, I'd love to support you in that. And so I want to encourage you always go to my website again. So 
Oh, it's a one-stop shop. You can go to my website and you can get my blog. You can sign up for my newsletter. You can sign up to do a call with me. All that is one one space um, at a divinelife.com. So go to my website at divinelife.com. You go to coaching and go to Power Circle. If you click on there and then sign up for a call with me, we can get on a call. I can explain to you more about what Power Circle is, what it isn't, what it does, what it doesn't. Um, and what it might mean for you and how it may support you during this time of uncertainty. So if you think that is of interest to you, then go to the website and sign up. If you think it sounds great, but it's not really for you right now, that's cool. But if you know somebody else who you think could benefit from it, then please share that information with them. The thing about it is we have not because we ask not and we don't move when God tells us to move. And what I really want to do is... Um, stop kind of being out there and saying, hey, I'm here, but I have so many people and it just always shocks me where people are like, Tika, I know you're accessible. I know you're out there, but you know, I, I want to get with you on city stuff or I know you can help me with my business, but I haven't really figured out what that means. And so I don't want to waste your time. I had someone tell me that the other day. Um, you know, we're all in this together. We're all dealing with COVID-19 together. And so why don't we work on your business together? So all, all it takes is picking up um, or typing in, setting up a, a, a strategy session and getting on the phone so we can talk and see what that means and see if I can support you. And so, if you, again, if you know somebody else that you don't want to do it and you know somebody else, don't don't be selfish. Share the information with them as well and let them know that that opportunity is available. So anyway, with that said, let's all get ready for Bible study. It is a, almost six o'clock, so I am going to sign off unless anybody else has any questions. Remind you again, um, I'm going to try and come on more, but I'm really getting, I love this new um, platform that uh, that R Rashonda shared with me. So hope you like it too. I hope you share. You find that I've added some value. And so you share um, what that is and let people know um, that this was a, a good live stream. They need to listen. And if they don't want to read, they can listen to this. But if they do want to read it, remind them to go to the website. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I'm trying to go back to, yeah, about creating your perfect home office. So anyway, with that said, um, oh, and I forgot, guys. Um, hey, Cynthia Watson. Good to see you. It's great. It's great seeing you. Um, and oh, thank you, sweetie. I missed you guys. Um, so Terrell says, um, just wanted to say thank you. I thank you. I miss you. I hope your little one is doing well. Um, and I hope that you guys are staying safe. Um, but anyway, I'm going to sign off, share this with folks, let them know um, and encourage them. Like I said, if um, they want to sign up for some time with me, uh, encourage them to uh, sign up, uh, go to the power, um, go to a divine life .com and sign up for a strategy session and I can talk to them more about the power circle. So anyway, reminder, again, join me Friday um, at two for a live stream. And we're going to talk about health disparities and especially in light of COVID-19, but even at, with, out, outside of COVID-19, health disparities, especially as it relates to African-Americans. Um, it's interesting when you hear Dr. Bell give her her um, statistics and they talk and they say, hey, you know, that is a uh uh, that is a uh, middle-aged uh, woman with underlying health conditions. Well, I have high blood pressure, so that is considered an underlying health condition. And so I think we all need to understand what um, what health disparities in this country are, when this state. And so I'm excited to be hosting or interviewing a really good friend, Anton Gunn, on Friday, and he's going to talk about health disparities. Uh, so join me back here at two o'clock for two o'clock on Friday for community conversations with Tamika to Councilwoman Tamika to Isaac Divine. So I'm gonna put on my Councilwoman hat for my live stream on Friday. This is my uh, mom, coach, uh, leadership mentor, work life integration strategist hat. Um, uh, yeah, COVID-19 testing in 29203, Cynthia said. I was out there today. Jamie and I went out there um, and met Todd Rutherford, Representative Rutherford, um, and they tested a lot of folks. They'll be out there Thursday and Friday as well. So I'm going to continue to push that information out too. But anyway, uh, share this information. Go read my blog. Comment on my blog. Let me know that you um, enjoyed it and share with me some other tips and then share it. Um, I, I have to tell you something, and he's downstairs. Uh, I'll probably bring him on at another time. But 
one of the things being home all the time, you learn all these sayings that um, they pick up at school. And so Jameson's big thing right now is if he wants something and you're not going to give it to him, he says, but mom, sharing is caring. And so that's the big thing. Sharing is caring. So that is my new philosophy because I've learned it from my third, th uh, three-year-old. Sharing is caring. So share this broadcast, share information about the Power Circle, share about my, my blog and continue. People always say, Tamika, how can I support you? How can I support your business? Uh, the best way to support me is to let other people know about me. You know, most people are like, oh, everybody knows about you. Everyone knows that I'm a councilwoman and they know I'm a lawyer um, and they know that I'm out here all the time. But most people don't realize that I have a business that I'm building. And during this time of strategy and pivot, I am spending time at building this business because by 2021, um, I want to make sure that we're that I'm still on track. 2020 started off great. And then coronavirus happened. And so it, it, it caused me to pivot a little bit. But pivot doesn't mean stop. Pivot means um, figure out what else God has for you. And, and this is um, what I'm doing. I'm spending some time really investing in this business. That is my passion. So share the information so that other folks can find out more about what I do and where they can find me. So with that said, um, I will see you guys later. Uh, see you guys. If not before, I'll see you Friday at two. Share that information and hopefully I'll have a flyer soon about that too. But uh, until then, good night. God bless. Stay safe. Um, and if you don't have to go out the house, go. don't do it. And if you do, wear your mask, wear your gloves and stay six feet apart from somebody. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.